On September 10th, 2018, Kyle Alander responded to my refutation of his reputation of property dualism. The newest attack he gives is what he calls a dream argument against direct realism. This argument is atrocious. The first premise is false because it's based on a misunderstanding of what direct realism is. The third premise is false because dream worlds are distinguishable from the real world. First, because in a dream world, you can control and create things by pure will, which you cannot do in the real world. And second, because in a dream world, since it is imaginary, you can violate impossibilities like physical impossibilities, metaphysical impossibilities, and nomological ones. In regards to the falsity of the first premise, I think it would behoove us to have a refresher on what direct realism actually is from Pierre Le Morvan. Quote, Direct realists hold that perception is an immediate or direct awareness of my independent physical objects or events in the external world. In taking this awareness to be immediate or direct, direct realists deny that the perception of these physical objects or events requires a prior awareness of some tertium quid, example given a refied appearance, sense datum, sensum, idea, quality instance, species mediating between the mind and external physical objects or events." Unquote. So in short, direct realism entails two postulates. That there is an external world and that when we have vertical perceptions, these perceptions are direct and not mediated by a veil or tertium quid. The second new attack we have from Kyle Alander is that he claims direct realism has been falsified by quantum mechanics. The first mistake Kyle makes is that he thinks direct realism and naive realism are the same thing. Again, we can get an elucidation from Pierre Le Morvan. Quote, first, direct realism is often conflated with what is called naive realism. Naive realism, a strong form of direct realism, claims that perceived objects or events always appear exactly as they are. One can be a direct realist, however, without being a naive realist. This is because holding that perception of physical objects or events is direct or immediate does not entail that one must also hold that perceived objects or events always appear exactly as they are. Hence, to show that naive realism is untenable does not show that direct realism itself is untenable. The importance of drawing this distinction will become clear in the ensuing discussion." Unquote. Next mistake Kyle Leonard makes is that he doesn't realize that naive realism in quantum mechanics is not the same thing as naive realism in perception. Naive realism in quantum mechanics refers to contextuality. From Brendan Foster, quote, Contextuality in physics describes how or whether the details of an observation affect what is observed. We mean that the results of measurements can depend on how we made the measurement or what combination of measurements we choose to do. Unquote. Next, Kyle Olander makes up some nonsense about epistemic problems of living in the matrix and falsely claims that direct realism means qualia is meaningless, which is utterly false since I hold the qualia and am a direct realist, and I have never seen anyone claim direct realism entails that qualia is meaningless. So Kyle Olander's attempt to refute property dualism fails miserably. Thanks for watching.